Hi, my name is Katie Moyer. I am a Beachbody Live Master Trainer and welcome to Insanity Live. I am so glad you are here because my name is Katie Moyer. I love Insanity because it's four moves, 30 seconds each. We're going to take a 30 second rest. We're going to do the same four moves, 30 second rest. We're going to do the same four moves a third time followed by one minute of a power move. All you need is your body weight and whether you are new or a veteran, you know that the best part about this class is all you have to do is start. We get three shots at getting better and better and better. And guess what? That doesn't just start today. That's over the long haul of doing this round over and over again. And my job is to make you more successful than I am. So thank you so much for being here today. I can't wait. You guys ready to rock? How was that? Are you excited to take Insanity Live? Are you excited about the idea that maybe it's not just one class, it's more? Do you also just feel like, wow, I can't believe she's even thanking me and I haven't even, haven't even done anything yet. All I did was show up and I'm, I'm being thanked. That's pretty awesome, right? Yes, that is how you are going to hook your students with a great first impression in the New Year's because New Year's resolutions are right around the corner and people are gonna get back into the gyms and guess what? They're gonna come see you, the Group X instructor that they don't know in a class that they've maybe heard something about, maybe they haven't, and they're gonna be courageous enough to be vulnerable and step into a class where they don't maybe even know anyone, they don't know what to expect in class, they don't know you either, and your introduction is your first impression. And it is so important for us as group fitness instructors in the new year to make sure that we don't just cater to our vets um, or just cater to the new people, but we cater to everyone so that the new people that come in, they feel welcomed. They feel like, okay, I, I can do this, but also that they stick around, right? We don't want big classes just two or three weeks out of the year. We want big classes all year long. And so I'm going to give you my three best tips on how to make a really great first impression so that you have big classes, not just in the first couple weeks, but you get all those New Year's resolution people and you get them hook, lined, and sinkered so that they come in February, March, April, May, June, July, and so on and so on. So how do you do that? How do you make a good first impression or a memorable, a lasting, and impactful first impression? Number one, it starts with you. It starts with your energy. It starts with your smile. It starts with you walking into the gym knowing I know this class best because you practice and that's a whole nother video, but you are prepped, you are ready to rock and roll, but your energy when you walk in, even when you close your door from the car, you close it, you are awesome, you are ready to rock and roll, you're gonna smile. When you walk into the front desk staff, you're gonna say hi, hopefully you know their names. Um, when you walk past and you, and you walk in and you see people walking past you, you smile, you say hi, even if you don't know them. And you just carry this something about you so that when you walk into that Group X room, people keep turning their heads because they don't, they don't know who you are, but there's something about the way that you look and the energy that you're bringing so that when you walk into the room, somebody who's awkwardly standing there, like, I just want class to start because I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now, right? I'm the girl who, when I'm in a new class, I don't know what to do. I tie my shoes like eight times, right? Because I just want to look like I'm doing something, but I don't really have to tie my shoes again. I just, I just feel awkward standing there. So you want to be that person that when you walk into the room, you say hi. You smile at them, even if you don't know them. If you do know their name, you're going to use their name for the people that you know. And maybe be that hostess that you're already connecting people like, Sam, oh my gosh, Sam has been taking this class for a full year now. Like, do, do you know Sam? Hey, Sam is a really great person to know. They can give you all the tips on what to expect in this class. So pair up with them. That is already going to set the tone that this is a very friendly environment. We love new people. We want more and more people to come to this big community that we're just here to have fun. So number one, it starts with your energy, your smile, and you walking into that room, owning the room, and knowing that you're gonna connect people and already bring them into this big community. The second thing, it's your intro. Your intro, you have to say your name, you have to say the name of the class, the duration, do you need equipment, and most importantly, you need to share the plan of what's coming in that class. Because expectation is so important. Why? Because conflict happens when expectation doesn't meet reality. So you need to set the right expectations that insanity is four moves, 30 seconds each, and it doesn't matter if you're new or you're not new. We have three chances to get better at it. Like You need to think about what do people need to know? The very basics, like in 10 to 15 seconds, what do they need to know about your class so that the vets and the new people all know what to expect so that they don't all of a sudden are like, wait, this isn't what this is supposed to be. Because maybe they did come to your class and they thought it was yoga, they thought it was Zumba, they thought it was a strength class, and it's insanity. So yeah, it's still cardio like Zumba. Yeah, there's some strength stuff, but there's no weights. Like They need to know what to expect in that class, whether they're new or a vet. And so it's really, really important that you 
essentially tell them, how tall is this hill that we're going to climb together, right? When you're going to do sprints up a hill, I always look up the hill and I need to know how, how long is that hill? I got to gauge it, right? That's what you're doing with your people. You are helping them have a good idea of what to expect in that class so that they know that it doesn't matter if they're new. It doesn't matter if, if they're a vet or not. They know that this is what is important about this class and then they can go from there and enjoy the ride. The third thing you need to do is, and this is probably my super secret insider information kind of tip, so you're going to want to write this one down. The most important thing you can do in an introduction is say thank you and remind people that regardless of the workout, you are happy they showed up. Because in group exercise, it is a scary world. If someone's new, they are courageous enough to be vulnerable, to walk into a class where they don't know you, they don't trust you. They might not know anyone in the class. They just signed up for a free gym membership because it's New Year's. And if you, before they even know you, before they even know what this class really is, you say, thank you so much for coming. I so appreciate you being here. And you know what? I'm not just going to be here today. I'm going to be here long after. So even though we're going to rock this class out, just know I'm going to be here in a month, in two months, in three months. And you know what? I know you're going to be here too because this is, this is a crazy world, but it's one of those worlds that... We're going to have a really good time, and I'm here for you. Thank you so much for coming today. I appreciate you. So let's rock and roll. Whatever it is, however you want to phrase it, but you need to thank them for coming before you even start, and you need to remind them that the, 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 secret, the secret to success in group exercise is showing up. Then maybe it does take two or three classes to kind of get into the groove of the class, but guess what? Everyone was there. I was new once. This person was new once. If you know your class well enough, I would point someone out in the crowd and be like, listen, Sam over here last year, he started with his very first class and so did Susan in the back and you know we all do our own things so you know feel free to talk to them but we were all a beginner once and guess what I'm gonna start with a new round today so nobody knows these moves so we're all on the same page I just care that you showed up however you want to phrase that and remember your introduction needs to be short and sweet 15 30 seconds or so because people came for the workout you gotta start the workout and you can start to put a little bit of this into your warm-up too depending on your class like you can start to say and explain like hey don't worry like if you don't get it right now this is just us warming up because we're gonna do a move similar to this in the workout so you'll see this again take your time however you want to phrase it but it is so important that you remind people thank you for being here the secret of this class is showing up I will give you all my best tips all my best tricks I will give you the behind the scenes the insider information on how to rock this workout that's what my job is but you just need to show up thank you so much for doing the hard part today let's rock and roll and that that is what is going to a set you apart from other people B build trust and confidence in your relationship with your group X participants who are brand new and B just shows that you're a human being and that you get it. This is a symbiotic relationship. If they don't show up, you don't have a class. And if you don't show up, they got to go run on the treadmill. And that's, depending on your playlist, maybe not so fun. So it's it's this community like pact that you kind of make of like, listen, you got to show up and I got to give you the inside track. I got to be a really good instructor. And that's the way that we make this really great group exercise class even better and how we're going to hook, line, and sinker people. So enjoy the New Year's. Enjoy the big rush of big classes, but bigger picture, make sure you hook, line, and sinker those people into your community by starting with your energy, your smile, your personality, saying hello, by having a really great introduction with saying your name, the name of the class, the duration of the class, the equipment, share your plan, the expectation of what to expect in that class, and lastly, make sure you say thank you and say regardless of the outcome, I am just so happy that you are here because the key to this class is showing up. I'll give you the backstage pass. I'll give you the all the insider information, the tips and the tricks. You just got to show up and then that's how we're going to make this an even better 2017. So I hope those tips help. I hope you rock out your New Year's resolutions and get all those people to keep coming back so that your classes are bigger and better than ever. If these tips helped you, post below, subscribe to the channel and happy 2017. Thanks so much for watching.